So let's take down the makeup today. Today I'll be talking about this cleansing balm, Beauty of Yosion cleansing balm. I love this balm so, so, so much. The packaging is so nice. I've tried some other balms before, but this one I love because of how, you know, the spatula is separated, keeping it, you know, separate from the product. Now the product itself is a solid balm, as you can see with that transparent cap, really protecting it. It definitely contains some moisturizing agents and things that cleanse the skin. Now, what I love about this balm is the fact that it, you know, really cleanses the skin without leaving any film or residue. So I'm picking it up with the spatula now and I'm going to be massaging it. So I, I want you to guys to see exactly what this um, is like a sorbet. So when you kind of rub your palms together, it dissolves into like an oily thing. Now, when you compare this to oil cleansers, which you can also use to remove makeup, I like the fact that this does a less messy job. Usually, when I want to take it off my makeup, I usually would remove my eye makeup with micellar water or like an eye makeup remover separately. But just for the, you know, this video, I want to use the cleansing balm itself to actually remove everything, including my eye makeup. So basically, I'm just going to be rubbing all this around my face just to get it around, you know, all the layers of foundation. Like I have a full face foundation, primer, setting spray, you know, powder, setting powder on my face. And so, yes, I'm always dreading going around my eyes because, you know, when you have mascara and everything, you know, it's going to just become like a serious mess and, you know, going to have raccoon eyes and stuff like that. I'm going in now to cleanse the eye area. So next I'm going to be massaging the cleansing balm around the eyelash area. So what I have here, I have mascara, I have a black eyeliner, curl pencil liner that is so it's really intensely black. I also have black mascara as well. So here I've applied some water which would help to emulsify. So you can see the difference. There's water on the right side and then the other side doesn't have water. So now I'm doing a test to see how much you know makeup is left behind after that first cleanse always after using a cleansing balm you always want to use some second um, cleanser so i'm going to be going in with the micellar cleansing water which i normally do you know i normally remove my eye makeup like this first before going in with the cleansing balm but by just for the virtue of this video i wanted to try out the cleansing balm to see but I still want to go in with that of course because the cotton is white it's easy for me to see if i've taken off all the eye makeup and then because the cotton pad is soft i'm able to apply very gentle strokes to actually take off my eye makeup so you can see it's just a little bit that is left behind so the cleansing balm took off most of that makeup and i'm satisfied after using with the cleansing balm i'm going with the second cleanse this time i'm using the cerave foaming cleanser now this cleanser is a gentle cleanser contains ceramides contains niacinamide as well really soothing ingredients help to ensure that you the skin is cleansed without stripping the skin of its oil next i'm going in with this blossom makeup um, 24 karat gold serum which is basically a hydrating hyaluronic acid serum. I was gifted this um, serum by Blossom Makeup, so I'm thankful for that. However, from some of the things I've checked with this serum, as well as some of the other products, you know, there's no ingredient list. So I'm very icky and iffy about that, but I'm just showing you in this video, you know, just in case you come by it. So using a hyaluronic acid serum after cleansing will really help to restore that moisture keep the skin hydrated and nourished preparing it for the moisturizer step this will keep the skin really plumpy healthy and glowing and at night is when you want to do as much moisturizing you know because that's when a lot of renewal skin regeneration is going on so i'm going in with the eye cream so this beauty of your serum eye cream is a fantastic product believe me you know the formulation it contains ginseng and retinol retinol is like a cousin to tretinoin basically your skin converts retinol in one step to tretinoin and having this in the form of an eye cream in a gentle fragrance free formula is such a fantastic idea because this would bring the effects of you know vitamin a into your skin so it will help to boost collagen brighten the under eye area next i'm going in with this blossom makeup moisturizer this moisturizer is a gel cream moisturizer it's fantastic you can see me rubbing in in massaging on my skin and it is not giving me any greasiness so oily skin 
divas would love a gel cream like this but as with the other first blossom makeup products another pet peeve of mine there isn't an ingredient list on this thing even though i've used it and it hasn't given me any sort of irritation i would say blossom makeup you need to do better you know you need to do better with you know this kind of products but it's a great start but please and some standards need to be adhered to when it comes to skincare so i'm massaging that in you know just getting that all over my face at this point i mean and you can see that even from cleansing to moisturizing everything is being done in a gentle fashion so you want to ensure that your nighttime routine you really 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 moisturize your skin so i just want to show you the texture of that cream so that you can have an idea about what it is you know what it feels like so that is it you can see how it disappears into the skin i'm done with my routine guys let me know in the comments what you feel take care